In this video, we will solve an example combustion uh, problem um, using extended reactions. So first, we need to get a degree of freedom. Um, how many unknowns do we have? We have one, NCH4, NCO, NCO2, NH2O, NO2, and N2. So we have six unknowns. How many uh, independent reactions do we have? So we have a plus two, one, two. And now how many species do we have? We have six species, one, two, three, four, five, six. So minus six. And how many uh, relationships do we have? So we have one, 80%. And this is the other relationship, the whole five moles of CO2 per mole of CO. So the uh, five to one ratio, so that's minus two. So six plus two minus six minus two, we get zero. And so we can solve this problem. So let's do that. First, we will do the relationships. So I could say that the whole 20% thing would be one minus 0 0.8 times uh, 20. 20 because 200 times 0.1 would give us 20 moles of CH4. And so this would equal 4 moles of CH4 in our product. So we just got this answer right here. This NCH4 we just got. So this is going to equal NCH4. That is one answer that we just got. Next, we will just write the relationship for the NCO2. So we could say that NCO2 is equal to 5 NCO. We will be using this relationship next. And now we will do the extended reaction um, equations. So we have NCH4, which we already found. So that was 4 is equal to... 20 minus now ch4 is written in twice here and here so we say extended reaction one minus extended reaction two and now we will do you know nco and then nco2 then nh2o and then no2 and finally we will do the inert and nitrogen and so for co we can say that nco is equal to so co is just in the first reaction it's not in the second reaction so we just write the extended reaction one this now we will do co2 we could say that nco2 is equal to the extended reaction number two this then we do H2O, so NH2O is equal to 2 extended reaction 1 plus 2 extended reaction 2. Then oxygen, NO2 is equal to, now oxygen was in our input, we had 200 times 0.2, so we had 40. And in this case, since it's an in input, we do subtraction. So we say 40 minus uh, 3 halves extended reaction 1 minus 2 extended reaction 2. Finally, we do nitrogen, which is an inert, so we just say N nitrogen is equal to our input because nitrogen will not uh, change in the output. So 200 times 0.7. And so, how many equations do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven. We have seven equations and how many unknowns? So CO2 is one, CO is two, extended reaction one is another one, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven things that we need to solve and we have seven equations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so for problems like these, we will use our calculator. So menu, 
algebra 7 1 we have seven equations now because we already got the CH4 so we have seven and we have so we want to solve for extended reaction 1 we'll call it x1 comma extended reaction 2 x2 comma NCO comma NCO2 comma NH2O comma N oxygen comma N nitrogen so we have seven equations and seven unknowns. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we just write what we have. So four is equal to 20 minus x1 minus x2. First equation, NCO is equal to um, extended reaction one. Third equation, NCO2 is equal to five times N. CO. This was one of the relationships. Next, NCO2 is equal to extended reaction 2. Next, NH2O is equal to 2 times extended reaction 1 plus 2 times extended reaction 2. And then oxygen is equal to 40 minus 1.5 times x1 minus 2 times x2 finally nitrogen which was the inert is equal to 200 times 0.7 we hit enter and we get these answers so co was 2.667 co2 was 13.333 if you notice 2.667 times 5 is this number which is correct then we have um, Extended reaction 1 was 2.667. Extended reaction 2 was 13.333. Um, now we need to get the others. Um, water was 32. Nitrogen was 140. And oxygen was 9.333. And that's all we need to do for this problem. And just to, you know, maybe if you didn't write the problem down, this was the problem.